But the congenital myopathies are a group of rare genetic diseases that affect muscle. The word myopathy actually means myo for muscle, pathy or pathology for disease. And as the word congenital implies, these are often very early onset primary diseases of skeletal muscle. Patients are born profoundly weak. In some cases, infants actually require respiratory support to breathe and are unable to move. Somewhat milder cases, those patients may walk, although often at two years of age instead of one. And at the mildest end of the spectrum, patients may become weak in later childhood, adolescence, or even early adulthood. There's no known treatment for these, and neurologists and orthopedists and pulmonologists are restricted to treating the patient's symptoms. The genetic causes for these are very diverse and something that we've been studying a lot over the past 10 to 15 years. And in general, these diseases are all characterized by the way the muscle looks under the microscope. So for example, one of the more common forms of congenital myopathy called nemelin myopathy, or sometimes nemelin rod myopathy, is so called because when you look at the muscle under the microscope, we see abnormal rod-shaped structures called nemelin rods. In another example, centronuclear myopathy, the nuclei are found in the center of muscle fibers, which is abnormal, hence the name centronuclear myopathy. In each case, the muscle is weak because the contractile apparatus is either disrupted or hasn't formed properly, but each disease has a different cause for that. So in some cases, the mutation actually affects a protein that is part of the contractile apparatus. In other cases, it disrupts the structures that trigger muscle contraction, and in yet others, we still don't understand the basis for weakness. So a lot of the congenital myopathies were first described in the late 1960s and early 1970s when neurologists started examining muscle under the microscope. But it really wasn't until the late 80s and early 90s that we started to first understand the genetic basis for a lot of muscle disease. Here at Children's Hospital, Dr. Lewis Kunkel first identified the gene for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a distinct muscle disease, in the 1980s. And beginning in the early 90s, we first discovered the genes for nemelin myopathy, and later some of the other congenital myopathies.